Okay, welcome back. Uh, the next steps that we need to do is actually uh, download some uh, net install ISOs. Uh, these will be used to create the virtual machines uh, within the uh, overt uh, web administration GUI. Um, but first we need to get the ISOs downloaded, then we need to upload them to the ISO directory that we created. Um, and there will be some links for documentation uh, from the actual Red Hat uh, Enterprise virtualization. Because basically, like I said, this is just a uh, free version of that. Um, so you can look at the information there on, on the different types of directories that are created and stuff like that. So first of all, we're going to uh, start out the root, and then we're going to change directory to temp. And then in temp, uh, we're going to make a directory called ISOs. I'm going to change directories into that. And uh, make sure there's nothing in there shouldn't be. And then now we're going to use a, a command called curl. And basically what this is going to do is this is going to get the uh, ISOs from CentOS as well as Fedora. Here's the command that we'll use. It'll be in the notes as well. Um, using curl to pull the ISO image down for the net install from the uh, CentOS website. And once again, I'll try to keep this uh, between five and 10 minutes long, and I will uh, definitely uh, make this go a lot faster in the video. Um, we're not gonna sit here and wait, you know, five minutes for it to download. Okay, that one there has been downloaded. Um, that is the uh, CentOS uh, 6.5 uh, net install ISO. Um, next, I'm gonna be downloading the uh, Fedora 20. Okay, that one is downloaded, and now we're uh, ready to upload these. I'm just going to clear the screen. Uh, hello and welcome back. Basically, here what we're going to do is we're going to be, once again, from the command line. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be uploading those uh, net ISOs that we downloaded. Um, we're going to take those net ISOs and upload them to the ISO domain um, so that they'll be available to create virtual machines from from the web GUI. Um, so what we need to do now is make sure that we're in the right directory. And we're in temp ISOs, which is good. We're gonna do a quick list and we can see that we've got two ISOs here. Um, I'm not 100% sure you have to change the, uh, I guess the rights to it, but I'm gonna change them anyways. And that's just by doing just a change mod command. Seven, seven, seven for all and then star means all of them. I'll turn, turn to like a green color there. Um, like I said, I don't think we really have to do that, but just in case, um, now what we need to do is we need to actually use the uh, over engines uh, upload manager um, and that command is engine iso uploader and then upload and then i and then the iso domain or the name of your domain that you're going to keep your isos and then the actual name of the file which would be the centos one for here um, enter after you have that uh, in there it'll be in the notes as well uh, it's asking for the password for admin that's the same one that you use to get into the web gui Um, here it looks like it already exists because I've already uploaded it there. Um, and we can also do a force command as well. Um, while we're here, let's also install the Fedora image that we have. And once again, we'll put the password in for that. Okay, that uploaded successfully, so that's a good sign. I'm going to clear the screen here. And uh, what we're going to do here is I'm going to Stop this, switch over, and then get into the uh, the web GUI again, and then we can see the, the images that are there, and then we'll actually kick off a, uh, a VM install. 